Okay, we've got three more recipes that we're gonna go ahead and go through real quick. So first and foremost, I need to cook this up. Three of these recipes are stuff that are not on the list. That it, well, not on the recipe list for stuff that I've already made. Next up, good old recipe classic. Fire flower. Cake mix. it completely diminish well, completely removes the whole negative effect of being on fire. I could be incorrect. I think that was also in the first Paper Mario. And that was the negative effect of it. Was that you'd be on fire. But I could be wrong on that, so don't quote me on it. I mean you can quote me on it. I'm allowed to make mistakes. Flower points. Flower point restoratives. And just by doing that, I guarantee if I remember right, if I walk away and I come back, there's one more book. I think there's three volumes. Because it's a green one, a blue one, and a purplish one. But I could be wrong on that. See? Also 128 do coins. I don't know why I said dollars. Or I was trying to say dollars. So, for the reason why I was doing that, I'm gonna have a fun little adventure on my end. Not really much of a handicap, but it should be an interesting set of events. And essentially what I'm doing is, my plan is to go into the Pit of 100 Trials. Like I mentioned I was gonna do, and go to floor 50. Now the trick with that though, is the factoid that I don't have any items on me. So it's kind of like a little, small little mini challenge for myself to see how far I can get in here without items. Now, just like I mentioned before, I'm not going to go through this and um, try to do this as one episode. This will probably be a snippet of an episode. Because that's a lot of work. Well, I say not a lot of work. It's a lot of useless content probably to some of you guys. Because you've already seen me go to the pit of 100 Trials' 50th floor before. So, what I will do is this. Oh. On the first floor, too. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the recording right here and then restart the recording like this. So that way I at least have the branching point of knowing where I need to cut off on. I'm pretty sure I can't use you. Yeah. I could skip two levels, but... Mm -hmm. 
So, remember what my biggest allies with this whole situation is. <sighs> Using the spin hammer situation. <sighs> and just to prove the point, I don't have any items right now. So, everything that you'll see going forward is all just stuff that's collected in the Pit of 100 Trials because of the Item Hog badge that I have. That's another point of why I'm doing this. If some of those are actually activated, do I actually have them? I do. Okay. Yeah, if you guys want a clean sweep with a lot of this, Spin hammer seems to be the way to go. And see, right off the bat, we got an item. Floor 2. Mushroom. You don't even have to do the full extent of the maximum level of swinging. Just enough to consider it finishing the job. Now see, I wish I had money, money activated in my possession. This should be easy, but... I haven't played this in a good while. So knowing my luck, I might have been out of shape take it for what it's worth, because again, my opinion may or may not matter with the situation with it. Using the spin hammer is a good idea with it, other people might have better ideas. Just personally with me, it makes the most sense to do that because you deal a lot of damage to the front enemy and you can attack everything else at the same time. You've probably already seen me talk about that before. To me, it makes more sense though for badges to have Flower Finder on than Heart Finder. Just because with some of the nature of what you might be doing in Pit of 100 Trials, you're going to be using a lot of flower points more than pretty much mostly anything else. And I missed. I kind of know how I want to frame this, and I kind of know how I don't want to frame this. I can know what things I want to keep and what things I don't want to keep. Because this whole specific chunk is going to be kind of more like an episode, well, a conversation piece, rather than an actual episode where you're seeing me do the walkthrough and stuff. And I say that just because, again, you've already seen me go through this before. Why well, put you through all that torture of having to watch everything? In this case, with it, as you probably saw too, I'm trying to do this based on speed, not on usage of flower points. If I wanted to try to stockpile my flower points, I would have just been attacking stuff individually. But, I don't want to waste time as much as in here as anyone else wants me to waste time on. The plus side is, depending on what happens with however many items I collect, I might either be able to make recipes to sell them better, or, might be able to just sell them at wholesale. Whatever decision I do decide to make with it. Whoops. Whatever decision I do decide to make with all this, I'm gonna say it's pretty much gonna be a variable of, it's gonna be a variable essentially of whether or not I decide to record me wasting time and stuff. So what I'll probably do is leave it run in the recording session probably cut everything out once I finalize the recipes that I'm going to make. I won't have enough um, star points to level up, unfortunately. That I know for a fact. For a bit, I was going to say, you know what, let's use an item to take them all out. And I'm like, wait a minute. I sold all my items to kind of prove the point I can start from scratch and go all the way down. Well, all the way to floor 50. Because I did comment when I did it before that it seemed very easy to get the floor 50 for myself. So... I kind of want to see how easy it was. I have to guard every time that happens. Don't forget it this time, Endo. Literally, if you guard, it's much easier than to block. Well, counter. Now, Baba Hall. Hello there. I could actually use you to my advantage now. Because again, I'm just trying to go for speed on this. I'm going the distance. 
I'm going for speed. He's going the distance. He's going for cheese. Where are all the fancy items, though? Thought I got better items at first from doing all this. Hello again. Why is it all of a sudden now that I'm encountering you three times on this when the last time I tried this, I only got you once? What type of weird luck is that? And there you are. Again. What floor is this? Level 30, it said? Yeah. You are now here four times. When before, I could only get you once. Dry shroom. Really? I mean, I could probably just eat that up anyways, but again, I'm trying to hold off on using anything unless I really have to use it. You know what? I haven't done this in a while. With anybody down here, actually. I haven't used any star power. So by normal rules of how this would work, I'm probably going to get either a Voltrum or a Mr. Soft... Or Mr. Softener. Get the worm. Probably get one of those. Let's see what the survey says for what I'm going to get on that. And that answer is... Nothing. Cool. I love consistency. You know, this would be a perfect time for... Actually, you know what? And another dry shroom. Is there actually a benefit for a dried shroom? Hold on. Let me pull it up real quick. Yes, I'm looking up in the middle of this when I was supposed to be doing speed. There's not really much of a benefit because you would need it for another item. You essentially need another item in order to make it useful. Got lucky on that one. This is a repeat battle. Cool. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. I tried to make a pain as. We're at floor 40. So we're almost there. I'm fairly certain this may go one of two ways. Really good. Okay. I was like, I thought explosions actually did more damage to it, not heal. Them. It's just fire that heals it. Also forgot, I can't be standing on the pipe when I defeat an enemy. Because I may lose the items. Why raise my defense? There's nothing going on. I forgot to push the A button. It worked on the Koopa that was on its shell. See? I get the item that shows up. This time. If I didn't do that before... Multiple times, actually, that's happened. Ow. I couldn't even flip it. I have to do this first. Get rid of the smoke. And with that, that should do it. Because I had that one NPC that allowed me to warp, and I used it, um, only three out of the four times, but still. Also, you weren't here last time. Nothing of importance. There's the graffiti. Hey, 
came off. It went boom. Now we gotta go all the way back to Far Outpost. Time for phase two. Since I'm doing redundant content stuff, may as well get this part of the redundant content done and over with. Am I strong enough to actually take out some of these enemies in one hit? Or am I going to have to fight everyone individually? Still not strong enough. Probably all to produce only... Oh! It produced one star point piece. Now, part of the reason why I'm doing this again, not just for the factor of star point collection, but also to actually work on getting some money added. Never really have that activated. And then the process with this would be similar to the process before I was doing, where the only part of the content that I'll actually keep is anything that's specifically necessary in terms of speaking saves on the uh, lines of having to do certain parts of editing. Why are you doubling my star points now? Could have picked any other time to do it when I actually had a more meaningful encounter. I also actually needed that ice storm. Because there's another recipe that actually needs to be made. With us. Well, that can't be good looking. Damn it. Not this shit again. My audience of four, you're the real MVPs here. You get to see me level up when all those other fuckers decided to leave me. Man, we have a long way to go. Okay, now we're in a redundant stage for Swoopula. Probably also in a redundant stage for these guys. I also just realized by doing that, that one disappeared. I don't know, man. I'm confused as shit. It also means they're redundant, too. Though they still don't drop any star points. They're considered too strong still. See, good thing I did that. Flower point spawner. Damn it.
We're getting a lot of coins through this. <laughs> Whoops. Once again, back on the flower point grinder. I do wonder if this also works for coins. Like if you just put money, money on. You know, every time that I've tried to do that, I've failed at doing that. And for once, I actually got extra boosted damage from that. That's hard to do, though. Really? You're gonna double my star points from a star point of zero to a star point of zero. Well, two, but still. Point is, could have been better times for doing that. I'm actually full on inventory space. That's funny. Actually, what happens if you go up? Because every time that I've done it, I went down. Huh. It's like, no, you gotta go down to get out. That's funny. Now, try not to walk right into the chain chomp this time. That's not where the chain chomp is. But okay. Why not, actually? Remember to use A, not B. Okay, for these guys actually have to do this. Those still produce two. So that kind of makes it the strongest enemy that's not in a pit of 100 trials. Well, then you have the Amazing Daisy. Still, you get the point of what I'm trying to say. How is it that I've failed that now three times? Don't let the person that failed to play Cuphead play this game. They'll never get past the point. And I do know that there's enemies that are down here. <laughs> Landed right on it. You know, I went in with the original intent of just avoiding everything that's a redundant enemy, and just fighting only the important enemies. But I've already gone through the streak of taking out most of the enemies to begin with. So it's kind of like, why bother stopping now? Type of thing. Besides enemies that I don't take out now, I might run into when I'm trying to head back. And once I finish what I want to do here, I kind of want to get back on a semi-easily pace. Plus also, I kind of actually need to do Miss Mouse for a lot of this. Just to make sure that there isn't anything else that's hidden. Because the intention for this would be to make sure that once I'm done down here, I don't come back. Or at least I don't have a reason to come back is what I mean. But I think you understand what I mean. When I said I want to get rid of everything, I'm going to get rid of everything. So everything down here has to go. Getting better with that. Of course not, it's kind of half pointless, but... I still have the pit of 100 trials to go through, where I might need to use that, so... Uh, 
That's the last of my dried shrooms. So now at this point, I'd be getting rid of tasty tonics. There may have been one or two enemies that I might have missed in like a separate room, kind of like that. But I want to say for the most part, all the enemies are gone. At least the vast majority of enemies are gone. At the end of the day, even if we get to this room, because I forget if there actually is something here. Even if we get here and there's nothing down here. This adventure wasn't 100% of a waste. The reality to it is we started off this adventure with barely any coins. And here we are at 392. We also have the full extent of all those items that we now have that we can either cook stuff with or just flat out sell. And even to that extent with it, that's still a lot. So, let's see at the end of the day what actually lies back down here. Nothing. That's okay. Because again, this wasn't necessarily a waste. In you go. They can't go in there. Well, that covers that. We needed all that money anyways. And you might be wondering why we needed all that money. Let's just say you're going to have to stay tuned to find out. I see. It's not here that there's something. It's in the gear rooms themselves that there's something. Interesting. Very interesting. What am I missing? There's something. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a point where the graphics don't line up. There's something here. Literally, this is the first major room. And yet somehow I'm missing something. It's probably up at the very top. Like, right over here. Yep, called that. That's it. I have no reason to go to Palace of Shadow anymore. We're officially done there. <laughs>